Our province's oldest living former premier will be celebrating this weekend. Dave Barrett, who was elected in the 1970s and pioneered everything from ICBC, Pharmacare and the Workers' Compensation Board, is turning 81. He was BC's first ever NDP premier and now we take a look back at a man whose policies endure to this day. Dave Barrett was born the youngest son of a Jewish fruit and vegetable vendor. He was raised on Vancouver's gritty east side, educated in the United States and later worked as a social worker. He was fired for being too politically active, so turned to politics full time. Barrett was elected as BC's first NDP Premier in 1972, ending the 20-year reign of social credit's W.A.C. Bennett. Well, I would think that the, the first two years of his regime, the people will say it's a good, pretty good government because he'll have all this money that we have that we have saved ready for our dynamic policies. Meantime, on the federal stage, Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau was shaping the modern nation while Barrett did the same in BC. It was a time of change. Too much of it too fast, claimed critics. Barrett's run as premier lasted only one term. He lost a snap election he called in 1975. But many of his initiatives endure to this day. In three short years, he brought in ICBC, the Workers' Compensation Board, the Labor Relations Board, question period in the legislature, and Pharmacare. Barrett led the fight to preserve lands for parks, notably the preservation of Cypress Bowl at Vancouver's North Shore Mountains as a Class A provincial park. A year ago, Barrett was honoured by the Gordon Campbell government and a lookout viewpoint on the mountain was named for the former Premier. It is also even more important that we all work together, that we maintain this kind of quality of life that we have in Canada. In any event, let me say that Canada is an incredible country in the world. I think it's important to uh, at times put down the partisan swords. Obviously I'm not a member of the NDP and, and neither was Gordon Campbell. But both of us agreed that it was the right thing to do. Barrett may well have been BC's first green premier taking on the fight against U.S. oil super tankers along the BC coast. And I hope that uh, British Columbians especially will recognize the fact that the federal government has been procrastinating on this issue. After his early exit from provincial politics, Barrett turned his attention to Ottawa and was elected as MP for Esquimalt. The provincial MLA for that riding remembers him fondly. Dave's type of leadership and all of the things that he did were really about the people. So Dave was always very real and has always been a leader who thinks first and foremost about how government affects real people. The province called Barrett back to work in 1998 as the head commissioner into the leaky condominium crisis in BC. Barrett's final report recommended better consumer protection and a minimum warranty coverage. He said condos then were not a good bet for buyers. There was better protection or court access for a consumer who bought a toaster than there was for someone who bought a condo. 36 years after he left the Premier's office, present-day politicians still tip their hat to Dave Barrett. When we think about great leaders and what people we would aspire to, uh, to emulate, Dave Barrett certainly comes to mind, I think, for most politicians. Barrett lives a quiet life in Esquimalt and no longer gives interviews. His health is not good, but he celebrates his next birthday this Sunday. BC's oldest living former Premier will be 81.